Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old Narrowboat Tilly as always, and in today's chat I'd like to tell you about the incredibly busy time I've been having recently, as I have been biking, walking, boating, running around to different houses and all over the place over the last week or so, as I've been to, let's think, on Tilly, I've been to my friend's house, my dad's house, my mum's house, my nan and grandma dad's house as people have been on holiday it's been my dad's birthday and um, like I say because of uh, work and where Tilly is at the moment I've been going rather than biking obviously the impossible uh, thing of biking over 20 miles into work in the morning doing eight hours lifting boxes general supermarket sort of stuff and then biking 20 miles out back to Tilly I've been um, sleeping at my friend's house over the past weekend or so instead of obviously in between uh, my work days having to bike 20 miles but that's still been a good five miles in and five miles out in uh, before and after me shift so that's still pleasant and that's nice it's, in this good weather that's a nice distance to be riding about 25 to 30 minutes riding depending on the speed and depending on if there's anything that needs me to urgently stop and start taking photos of if there's any excitement going on but as it's extremely hot on board, even now as I'm recording this at gone 11 o'clock at night, as this is currently the hottest day of the year so far I'm recording this on, I'm going to just have a quick random cut here, have a drink and then come back to you hopefully a little bit more refreshed and less more and more sweaty. Wow, it's so hot I just can't explain it to you. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been darting around all over the place and it's been great when I've actually got back to Tilly and just been out here in the middle of nowhere and just in total perfect calm silence. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's get on to what I really want to talk about. And these are the sorts of things that when I try and say about how boat life is great and I love it and all this running around... But when the boat gets to certain places, it's just impossible to bike in and out like I've been doing um, to work and so on. Because, I mean, just like I say, you've probably seen in some of my previous videos, in fact, the last Boat Life video that went up before this, the Boat Life moments from the end of January, uh, the end of January, the end of June, rather. Um, that one has a clip where you see I've just got back to the boat and it's, I think, 12 minutes past midnight. There's been an awful lot of that going on as the boat gets further and further away. But it's suddenly, like, soon enough gets to the point where I just can't possibly bike the distances. And there's an interesting side effect as the random sort of wild card that was thrown in recently was it being my dad's birthday. So I went and stayed at his house, which is not at Wrexham, but at a place called Marford, at the far side of Wrexham, which is one of the large local towns to not necessarily super local, like super nearby to the canal, such as Oswestry running between uh, about six and two and a half miles. I hope you can't see there's a random fly buzzing around here every now and then. So my apologies if I um, seem a little distracted sometimes. Um, and that's probably just down to the heat. Anyway, anyway, on track. So basically, I was going to stop out at my dad's house because it was his birthday and we were going to go off to the zoo with my sister and so on. And it was all lovely, though. So I'll like, enter those spoilers here. It was a great day out. Um, so because I was stopping at his house and it was his birthday, which I seem to have said an awful lot of times now, I had a few presents that I wanted to take, which... I didn't want to have to fetch to the boat and then take out to his house. So here is the ridiculously long-winded adventure that I had just to go to my dad's house, basically. So I stopped at my mum's house after I finished work at 10, or I'm not sure the exact time, but basically it was between 9 and 10, give or take. Um, and so I stopped at my mum's house because I was going to get a lift with my friends from Western Rin, which is five miles away from Oswestry, the following morning. So obviously I was never going to come back to the boat. And then well, it would literally be biking about 40, 45, 46 miles, probably over the space of a 12 hour period, if that, which I'm... I'm, I've never been that fit and I'm not as young as I used to be. Oh, I'm 28. Um, so I stayed at my mum's house, wake up the next morning, first thing, wake up, get on my bike straight away, bike five miles out to my friend's house. Then I have a lift from their house uh, into Wrexham with them. So 
bike first thing, five miles, lovely, get a lift in the car, then we go around, have a lovely day in Wrexham and so on, and then I get the Marford bus from Wrexham, so that's a quick bus out, about 20, 25 minutes or so, it's not a huge distance, it might not even be that long. So I've got this bag of general gifts and stuff to take out, take those with me out to drop off at my dad's house, lovely stuff, I drop off a few extra things that I don't want to have to carry with me, because then I have got to get the bus back into Wrexham, get the bus from Wrexham out to Whitchurch, and I'm planning at this stage in my mind, maybe about an hour and a half walk if that, to basically bus into Whitchurch and then walk from Whitchurch out down to Tilly, which was, I thought, about seven miles away. But Tilly, as much as I love it, seemed to, for some reason, be a lot further than I imagined when I actually set out on that walk. And this was another one of these absolutely incredibly roasting hot days. So it was just, again, unbelievable. And I'd already been on a bike ride on three buses at this point and then got to Wichich, bought a couple of supplies and something to have for me tea when I got back on board and started walking and I carried on walking and it was lovely and the sun was starting to go down and everything was looking a little bit golden and everything was perfect and so I carried on walking and two and a half hours later in the end I think it was just because I was absolutely worn out as well it took me so long as I'm getting redder and redder in the face as I'm getting warmer and warmer it took I believe about nine miles of walking to eventually find Tilly on the canal exactly where I'd left her of course but for some reason in my mind I had decided that where I'd left her was a lot closer to Wichich than it actually was so then I get on board Tilly I put my bag inside, I unmoor, and I do, I think because it was getting late, I only did about two miles or so, but I just wanted to get through a lift bridge and basically get a little bit closer to Wichich because the first thing the next morning was, again, wake up, start walking, carry on walking, and I think it was about an hour and 20 minutes then to walk up into Wichich, to then get the bus back out to Wrexham, get a few things from Wrexham, to then get the Wrexham bus back to uh, my dad's house, and then set everything up for when he finished from uh, work, and my sister and everybody came around in the evening, and basically then, as you can imagine, I blew up a load of balloons and general party stuff, but... Then, of course, this being me, I couldn't sit still, and even after an incredible amount of travelling and fun and games, and basically, this is how it went, to put it in the short version. Bike ride to Western Rin, car from Western Rin out to Wrexham, Wrexham to Marford bus, Marford to Wrexham bus, Wrexham to Whitchurch bus, Whitchurch to Tilly Walk, boating back up towards Whitchurch on Tilly, Wake up the next morning, after going to sleep, of course, said those in the wrong order. Walk back to Wichich, then from Wichich, it's the Wrexham bus. Then, of course, wander around Wrexham. And finally, the tenth stage of that trip is the Marford bus from Wrexham. So, it was ten stages spread over about 30-something hours. I'm not sure exactly how long, well, probably about 30 hours, in fact. And it was just, it was roasting hot. It was, it was fantastic. And again, I got to really just enjoy and love, especially on the walk down, even though I was really, really worn out because I knew I was getting more and more progress and I was getting closer and closer to Tilly. It was one of those moments of, whew, you know what? If I was heading somewhere other than Tilly, where I absolutely love to be and know that I can just close the curtains, crawl into bed and then go to sleep in pretty much undisturbed peace for a good few hours, then I would have probably been a lot less happy and a lot less jovial as I was slowly plodding on with no end in sight. Basically, then, when I get to my dad's house, because I've got these few hours to kill with nobody else about, I then have to go into his garage and, of course, find something to do, which is pump up his bike tyres and then head out off exploring the general local area, which I've got a couple of bike videos because I'd already I'd got my camera with me because again I was carrying a backpack with my usual array of various equipment just in case there was anything good to film and anything good to make a video of so I thought oh you know what well we're here let's stick the camera on and head out biking and again 
that was a lovely, pleasant hour or so that I spent just out wandering around. And because I don't know the area, it was even better than the normal bike rides that I do. It's a lot like what I say with when Tilly is getting into these distant places where I'm not super familiar and haven't grown up like I have wandering around for years and years in all of the country lanes and so on. There's still a general aura of mystery and, oh, if I follow this road, I wonder if that'll lead me back around here. And then this time, being out in these places... The road doesn't always lead me back to where I expect it to, which sometimes definitely doesn't quite go um, perfectly to plan for a nice calm day, but it certainly leads to some good fun times. Anyway, I don't know why, I just really wanted to tell you that random little story and just sort of give you again a bit more insight and background to when I talk about it, sometimes how I've been incredibly busy and so on. It's ridiculous incidents like that where my time was just spent travelling left, right and centre and up and down and uh, some people be like why didn't you just stop at your dad's that night or why didn't you stop at your friends or wherever and really it's like I say it's all right just well I mean it's just great look at this we got the fairy lights we got absolute peace and quiet I never have a night's sleep quite like what I have on board Tilly and certainly out in these places around the Wixel area heading towards Whitchurch when you're still far enough away from these main places like Ellesmere and Whitchurch which Again, they're not the biggest metropolises in the world, but in the nether regions in between, I don't know that nether nether regions doesn't sound like a doesn't sound like a non rude term. I apologise, um, but when you're in those uh, mystical zones and lands in between these uh, slightly bigger towns, then I mean, well. It's as I've said and as I've shown you on camera many times, you can just point the camera around, you've got nothing but stars in the sky, you've got nothing but the odd splash and general sound of nature as I talked about in my uh, recent bedtime on the boat video and ultimately that is what makes all of that effort and fun and games and travel and general worn outness and good, oh, oh, I don't know what I'm saying, it's just so hot, I'm sorry this video has been terrible rambling all the way through, I can only apologise but basically I do quite like boats as some of you may have picked up from the last three years and 800 odd videos that I've posted anyway on that note I'm going to stop witching because this video is not at all what I expected it to be as they normally are this one I've got a feeling could be one of the more rambling and less enjoyable videos I'll say that <laughs> it's just from what I'm imagining in my mind watching this back not having actually recorded it myself anyway on that note I will say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far into the video then congratulations Feel free to add me on Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of stuff or like the Facebook page if you want to see some general photos and updates from Life Afloat. Feel free, of course, to um, check out my books available for the Kindle. Search Amazon for The Narrowboat Lad or find links to everything in the description below and all sorts of other stuff. What else? Oh, of course, check out my other videos. Loads of proper boat life videos and loads of general fun and games. Well, I managed to completely mess up the final line of this video, so I will say... Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, keep it boot worthy, keep it boat worthy, and of course, farewell.